Hi everyone, my name is Will, and thank you for tuning into my channel, Your Spiritual Will. Today we're going to talk about Himalayan salt, and specifically Himalayan salt lamps. Now, just a little background on Himalayan salt. Pink Himalayan salt is a rock salt, or halite, that is mined from the Punjab region of Pakistan. And its pink tint is actually due to trace minerals that are found naturally within the salt. And the amount of those minerals can be up to 84 trace minerals, including calcium, magnesium, sulfate, and zinc and chromium. Now, what I'm going to tell you moving forward is going to go against the matrix. Um, which says that there is no benefits to Himalayan salt and that all of these claims can't be proven. However, if you're willing to think outside the box, try new things, be open-minded, you might find that this is a really interesting mineral. So pink Himalayan salt is said to have many different health benefits. If you are consuming Himalayan salt, which they do make Himalayan salt that you can use in place of regular table salt, it has lower sodium levels than regular table salt, it has trace minerals, and it has no additives such as iodine and dextrose. And yes, you heard me right, dextrose. So if you check regular table salt, table salt actually contains sugar. So if you were just to pick up a canister of Morton's table salt and you read the ingredients, it actually has sugar in it. That is very interesting. And you know, it's, it's one of those things, do we really need more salt and sugar in our diets? Much less getting them at the same time when we think we're getting one thing and we're getting something else, it is something that should be talked about. When we are being told we're given one thing, when actually we're being given something else, that's just very in your face, just false. It's, it's a lie because our food, our water has all of this extra stuff that we're not being told is in there or maybe we are told because of the disclosure on the back of the product in very, very tiny, small print at the very bottom of the label, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. We should demand for more transparency in our food and our water than we have right now. But back to the salt lamps. So there are lots of benefits to salt lamps and I know about the benefits of salt lamps and I will tell you my story at the end of the video, so stay tuned. But first, let's cover some of the benefits of Himalayan salt lamps. Number one, they are natural air ionizers. Companies sell millions of dollars worth of air purification systems, such as air ionizers. And these ionizers are commercially produced and artificially create negative ions in the air, which helps improve our air quality. However, salt lamps do the exact same thing, except the cost is a lot lower. Now, of course, the FDA will argue that none of this is substantiated. It can't be proven. Well, here's something to think about, FDA. Why don't you test it out? Why don't you, why is there not a study being conducted on salt lamps and see if there are any benefits? Because if there are so many people that are benefiting from it, then obviously there's something there. Now, this could be a double-edged sword because <laughs> Do I really want the FDA to try it out or a quote unquote independent study to be done on them? Because I can guarantee you that that study is gonna show that, oh, there are no benefits, there are no benefits. This is all a placebo effect. Not really, not really. So it's one of those things that whenever you play the game, this is part of the game. So until there is a formal study, I'm gonna go with my gut my intuition which says that these do improve the air quality because i can tell that they do 
The second benefit is that they increase serotonin production, which regulates your moods. And when we are low in serotonin, that's whenever we get anxious, we get fearful, we get depressed, we have problems sleeping because our body can't regulate our moods because we're not getting what we need, which is serotonin. And negative ions increase serotonin production. So that is also a good thing about salt lamps is that they ionize the air which increases the negative ions in the air, which increases serotonin levels in our bodies. And that brings me to number three, which is it helps us sleep better at night. So not only is it improving the air quality, it is leveling out your serotonin levels. So this way you're not low on serotonin. It will help you be able to sleep better. And just its natural glow, when it's plugged in, is a nice calming pinkish orange with a little bit of yellow color and that depends on the salt lamp because again it's all natural chunks of salt so the colors may vary so i want to tell you a little bit about my story with himalayan salt lamps so as a kid i was sick a lot i mean i was sick a lot i was in and out of the doctors office all the time for anything and everything under the sun and I was taking antibiotics I was like I had so much medication it wasn't even funny and it got to the point where I had to take monthly IV treatments um, and I had to do that for several years because my body wasn't making what it needed in order to fight off these infections so my parents found out that I was actually born with this and that I would have to be taking these treatments for the rest of my life. So every time that I would go and get a treatment, I would see these full grown adults in their 30s, 40s, 50s, even 60s hooked up to IVs and I would see that and I would think to myself, wow, that's going to be me. That's going to be me. And my parents saw how miserable I was and how horrible I felt after those treatments because the effects of what they were pumping into me was very, um, well, it just wasn't really good for my system. Even though it was supposed to do good things, it really wasn't because I would feel horrible afterwards. Um, and for days afterwards, like I missed so much school and it was this one school year that I got called into the principal's office and was told to give this letter to my parents. So I was like, okay. And so I gave it to my parents and my parents read it and they said, and essentially the principal said that if I missed any more school, like literally one more day, then I was not gonna be able to graduate. Even though I was making straight A's, I was keeping up with my homework, I was not behind in anything. I was, again, making straight A's. I still was not able to graduate. This angered my parents a lot, uh, not at me, but at the school, because they couldn't understand why someone like me uh, was going to not be able to graduate when I was doing everything within my power. Like, I was literally doing homework in bed under under my covers, you know, laying down, scribbling in my journal because I couldn't even sit up. Like I didn't have the strength to even sit up, but I was keeping up with my homework. So my parents decided to um, pull me out and homeschool me. So that's how I got through and was able to graduate from that grade was because of that. So that made my parents really think about what was being put in me because we'd been doing this for years, monthly, four years, and not seeing any benefits. So my parents really started digging and looking into natural alternatives to help boost my immune system so I would be able to 
actually have a life outside the house and be able to not worry about getting sick and not have to be hooked up to machines and IVs. And so that's when my parents really started doing some research, found some supplements, some natural um, homeopathic medicines. And uh, <laughs> I then spent the next couple of years uh, with my parents going to Whole Foods a lot to pick up supplements because at the time there wasn't Amazon, there wasn't natural products at Walmart or at Albertsons or at Kroger. Like there, there, there really wasn't those natural brands that you see now at grocery stores. And one of the times I went to Whole Foods with my parents, I noticed this lamp. Um, honestly, I was bored. I wasn't feeling good. I was just trying to find something to keep my attention so I wouldn't fall asleep on my feet. And I saw this lamp and I showed my mom and I was like, hey, you know, can, can we get this? And she was like, yeah, let's, let, let, let's get it. Um, and this was when salt lamps really did not cost that much. Um, so, you know, cause who wants a block of salt on their on their table with a little light bulb in it? Like, that's just crazy. Uh, or at least it was in the 90s. Well, I can tell you that my asthma was a lot better when I was in the room with that lamp. I noticed that I wasn't having to run for my inhaler all the time. And I noticed this, and my mom noticed this, and so, before we knew it, we had like five different little little lamps like all in the areas of the house that I would normally be at, like outside the couch, in my room, by my desk, uh, in the kitchen. I'm not saying that Himalayan salt lamps cure anything. I really think that the reason why I'm not on asthma medication now is because of a lot of the natural and homeopathic medicines uh, or supplements or remedies, uh, they're not really medicines, they're remedies, um, that I took and that just helped increase my immune system to where I didn't, I didn't need those medications. But I did see a marked difference and so did my parents see a marked difference in the quality of my breathing when I was around those lamps. So this is my story about my first encounter with Himalayan salt lamps. And this was back in the 90s. So this was a long time ago. But uh, but I've always had a salt lamp ever since then. And I highly recommend anyone, even if they don't have breathing problems, get one because you may notice that you're able to sleep better at night, that you feel lighter whenever you are around the lamp. Um, I don't know if anyone has tried having a, a Himalayan salt bath, but you feel so good after a Himalayan salt bath, like your whole body feels lighter. And this really comes back to the metaphysical, which salt helps remove negative energy, helps remove negative spirits, entities, and I really think that whenever we get sick, that it's a lot of trapped negative energy that then starts affecting our immune system. And it starts showing in having a sore throat, an earache, you know, stomach problems. All of that trapped negative energy just has to come out somewhere. And so it manifests itself in real, physical symptoms. If you are interested in getting a salt lamp, I highly recommend that everyone gets a salt lamp, at least tries it. I mean, keep the box if you try it for a week or two or a month and you decide, eh, it's not working, put it back in its box and take it back to the store. Um, get your money back. Um, but what do you have to lose to try? Um, so if you are interested, I recommend that you get the kind that is not LED. And <laughs> I know that goes against all kind of like energy conservation, but hear me out. The warmth of the incandescent bulb that is inside the Himalayan, the block of Himalayan salt 
okay? The, there's a block of Himalayan salt and has a hole drilled in the center of it. That bulb goes in there. When that bulb heats, which incandescent bulbs heat, they get hot, hot to the touch. It's that alchemical process of the heat buildup in that chunk of salt that creates the negative ions that ionize the air that provide all of these different benefits. So you'll notice that there are a lot of ones you'll find at the store, especially like I know at the Dollar Tree, at Dollar General, you can find them for $5, but it's LED and you can plug it into your USB drive. Well, I can tell you that those are not gonna work. They're not gonna work. They're there and they look pretty, but they don't, they're, they're not gonna work. You're not gonna see any benefits from those because LED bulbs burn cool. So there is no heat buildup that creates those ions that then, you know, unleashes all of these health benefits. And you can find them on Amazon.com, you can find them at Walmart, you can find them at Target, um, again, Whole Foods. Um, if you're near Whole Foods, you can find them there. They'll probably cost a little bit more at Whole Foods. I really like the ones that are from the company Himalayan Glow um, because they've been around the longest and they actually come from Pakistan and they're not fake dyed. They're usually very good cuts of salt. So you don't get this box and open it up and pull out this wad of bubble wrap and inside there's this little bitty lamp um, because that can happen. And they typically cost anywhere between 15 and upwards depending on how big you want it but like 15 is like probably about like six inches tall um and then like i don't know for one that's like two feet tall it can be like i don't know like 60 70 dollars um so so it just depends on how big you want it and you can do research to figure out what size that you need but typically if you're going to be near it it doesn't have to be that big but there is a call out that I would like to say, which is to make sure that you keep it away from children and away from pets. So there is something called salt poisoning. So if your pet is licking the lamp when you don't know it, it's licking the lamp, your pet doing too much of that can actually poison the, the animal because too much salt for anyone is not good and it will literally dehydrate your entire body. So animals don't know, they just know that it tastes good and so they just keep licking it and licking and licking it and then they end up inadvertently poisoning themselves. So make sure that you keep it away from pets and children because I know some children uh, like to put things in their mouths. And again, if you can't be monitoring them every second, then you definitely should keep it out of reach of pets and children. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I would just love to thank my subscribers. I am at a hundred subscribers and I am just so thankful for you guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, make sure that you like this video uh, comment below and let me know what do you want to see in future videos. I would like to create a community here. We are creating a community together and I would love to hear your feedback, what you would like to hear, what you'd like to know about, and I will definitely create content around those topics. So again, make sure that you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell in the bottom corner to let you know whenever I post a new video. And you guys have a wonderful day. Much love and light to all of you. Have a great day.